Once again, apologies for the appearance. I was gonna not film this until I was able to take a proper shower, deep condition my hair, and then I thought, you know what? This is me, babes. Hi there, so it's me, I'm back. So, in today's lesson, we are gonna talk about why you should start a YouTube channel in 2021. There's gonna be information and notes and quizzes. You're gonna need... some paper and a pen, because y'all gonna wanna take notes. The first reason why you should start a YouTube channel in 2021 is because you get to learn wonderful, wonderful, yeah! wonderful transferable skills. Now, I know transferable skills is like a really hot word from primary school, but those bitches be onto something. Having a YouTube channel makes you learn a lot of skills that you probably didn't even realize you needed to have in order to have a YouTube channel. And I'm also aware that I sound like I'm really famous and I'm obviously not, but the advice still stands, you know? So obviously you are learning how to and practicing video editing and like sound mixing and like shit like that. But you're also learning self-discipline and confidence. Both of those things are just like really valuable life skills that you can just kind of carry with you through to anything that you do ever. <laughs> obviously you're learning self-discipline and good time management because you need to upload consistently. Something I haven't quite got the hang of yet, but she's here she's doing it every friday and you also need confidence to be able to just like sit in your bedroom and talk to a camera it's a very strange experience and it does get a little bit easier it has got a little bit easier for me um i'm still not super comfortable with it obviously i mean look at me but i'm definitely a lot more comfortable than i was when i first started this a few years ago and yeah, all of these skills are things that you can take with you on into anything else, whether that's another like regular job or another like side project you want to do or any kind of like creative project. You need just like good time management, good self-discipline. They're just like valuable life lessons. Now, YouTube is a really fun way to learn those things. Reason number two. And this is actually how I originally got into video editing and like the idea of making videos, I guess. Um, and that's to document memories and to kind of document who you are as a person at that moment in time. I used to uh, video all of my like holidays when I was younger and then I would make a little like three or four minute long like memory videos of the experience instead of just having like a bunch of photos. I always thought that having a video to look back on would be way more fun and exciting and like do a better job of revisiting that memory rather than it just being like a static image. And I still watch those videos. I still think about those trips to France and America and I still watch those videos and think about that time. It's nice to have that like time capsule piece of footage. And in the same like vein, um, creating a YouTube channel is a really good way to kind of stay in touch with people. Obviously coronavirus has been fucking diabolical for everyone. And since COVID has started, a lot of my friends have had to leave the country. They've gone back to their own countries or they're just not here with me. So creating YouTube videos is a really cool way to kind of keep in touch with people. Your friends, no matter where they are in the world, can still like watch your videos every week and they're like, oh, Joseph's doing this, Joseph's been up to this, or it's nice to just like see your friends doing stuff. Like the flat that I live in now was actually my friend's flat at the start of coronavirus. They had to leave the UK. One of them sent me uh, like a photo of her watching my video when I started making YouTube videos late last year. And it was just really nice for her to see me in her like old home and yeah i think youtube is a really nice way to kind of stay in touch with people and keep people up to date with what you're doing i mean in a post panini press world everyone's busy everyone's got their own shit going on it'd be nice to just know that once a week i could watch a five ten minute video made by my friends and i get to see what they're doing number three it's a very creative side project 
it literally takes so long to start making any kind of money on YouTube, let alone making enough money to actually live off. So I think starting a YouTube channel with the sole purpose of making money is very hard and I think not the way to go about it. I think if that's how you go into it, you'll become very demotivated very, very quickly because there is no money in the beginning. And then even when there does start being money, it's tiny, tiny, tiny amounts, which is nice. So I study fine art, as I have said um, 17,000 times on this channel. And I decided to study fine art because I enjoy it. But now that I study it and it's potentially what's going to be my career after uni, it kind of removes a little part of that enjoyment just for enjoyment's sake with the subject. So I don't like just sit at home and sketch anymore. Like I don't do that for fun because anytime I'm doing any kind of creative work, I feel like it needs to be for my degree. It needs to go towards something. But it's really nice to have this platform or this avenue, this channel where I can just like do fun, creative stuff. And I don't feel that pressure for it to be insanely perfect because it's going to be graded. It's just less serious, but it's fun. It's still nice to feel like I'm creating something and I'm enjoying the process, but I'm not so like caught up on the outcome. I still want the videos to be good though. Reason number four, burger <laughs> Now, even though I literally just said, it's nice not to have to worry about the outcome because I'm not financially tied to the outcome. I also really like money and I love the idea of money. Mm, no, I don't. Capitalism is a nightmare. However, currently I am earning a whopping grand total of zero pound from YouTube. That is because my channel is not monetized. Um, if you don't know, you have to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of public watch time on your channel before you're eligible to start putting ads on your videos. I do not have that. I'm at like 163 subscribers and like 190 hours of watch time. So if anyone would like to subscribe to the channel and rewatch all of my old content, that would be swell. Mama needs a new phone case. I would absolutely be lying if I said that money wasn't at least part of the motivation for me starting a channel. And so that's also why I've decided to try and take YouTube a little bit more seriously this year instead of um, just posting videos when they're ready. Like I actually have an upload schedule. Um, I have like the next five or six weeks worth of videos planned. She's on it. She's really, she's up, she's thinking, she's out there. Being alive is so expensive and creating multiple streams of income is like such a hot thing right now. It's a much more secure way of living than just relying on one single income stream because obviously as the pandemic has shown, relying on only one stream of income can be quite risky. Look at this. Team Linky. I don't know who Linky is. I just need to earn more money, basically. And the idea that I would be able to earn money passively or earn money through some means that isn't directly tied to trading time for money is very, very appealing to me. I don't know if I'm just incredibly narcissistic, but I value my time. I try not to be super money oriented and I think caring too much or placing too much value on money is very negative. But I also think well, people who say that money doesn't make you happy clearly do not like to buy as many phone cases as I do. I'm very sure there are more reasons why you should start a YouTube channel, but these are the ones that influence my decision. And I'm sure this video will be updated in the future when... And I'm sure this video will be updated in the future when I have more reasons, but... At the moment, these are why I've started a channel. Not only that, these are the reasons why I'm taking my channel more seriously in 2021. I was gonna make this video in 2020, um, and then I realized it just fucking sucks, so forget it. <laughs> Let's just start again. Please excuse my hair. I'm aware that I looked rather unkempt. It is due to the fact that I do not have a functioning boiler at this moment in time. Therefore, I have no hot water or heating. So the three of us have been filling up the kettle and boiling water on the stove and then putting that in the bath, topping it up with a little bit of cold water and having a bath that way. However, there is another catch. The plug in the bath doesn't actually seal completely. So as fast as we're throwing the kettle into the bath, it's also draining. So I managed to have a bath with like an inch and a half of water. I am six foot four. That was a really wonderful experience for me. Very humbling. But like sat in this puddle of water, like scooping it up, trying to like throw it on myself to clean my face. 
Uh, if it's a really big problem, you can just get over it. Anyway, I'm done. That's as much as I have to say on this topic, I believe, for now. If you enjoyed the video, let me know. Subscribe to the channel and please rewatch all of my old videos. I'm trying to get monetized before July. Like I said, I've planned like the next month and a half's worth of content, but if there's anything specific anyone is interested in seeing, uh, just let me know in the comments. What do you want to see from me? Do you want to see this? <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you decide to start a YouTube channel because of this video, don't forget to credit me when you're incredibly famous. Thank you. Have a good night.